Were you shocked by what happened, or like me, did you feel it was just a matter of time? Well, we've spoken about this before, Nigel. Um, of course, I was shocked. I mean, people have died here, uh, and that's uh, incredibly tragic, and it affects all of us. Um, was I surprised? No. Um, I think uh, all of us who spend our lives at sea know the risks. The tragedy is that most of the people who get onto these boats don't know the risks. They're not explained to them, and they're exposed to these risks every time they go out there. Yeah, and I mean, now that we've had this major tragedy, uh, we will actually get governments promising uh, rather more resolutely to do something. Um, and it puts pressure on Macron, not just on Boris Johnson. Um, what are your suggestions with dealing with this? Oh, I'm, I mean, I've made a series of suggestions for about the last two years, uh, none of which have been taken up. Um, I think the first thing we have to put in place is a humanitarian crisis situation. We have to accept that the channel, if this were happening on land, it would be dealt with in a totally different way. The fact it's at sea uh, seems to think that people seem to think that it's out of sight, out of mind. Uh, we have to have a joint task force between us and the French to declare that this is a danger zone. Uh, and the activities that are going on here are the responsibility of both governments. Uh, let's uh, be honest about this. You know, the French have not got control of their territorial seas. Uh, they are not actually patrolling sufficiently well to stop these boats going in the water, uh, and we have to actually hold them to account. The surveillance uh, devices do exist to be able to tell when these people are preparing and then getting into the water. Uh, they need to be intercepted. Resources need to be allocated. Uh, but as I said to the Home Office, I think probably 15 months ago, uh, the Romans had this right. They had a channel command that dealt with things like this that was based in Boulogne, and that uh, command was responsible for both sides of the channel for security, for safety, and everything else. We can replicate that. It's very easy to do. Uh, it just needs a bit of cooperation between neighbours and allies. So the argument, Chris, is that with the right resources and with the right technology, although I do understand there are some privacy concerns in France about using drones in particular, but your argument is with all the right resources, we can actually physically stop these boats taking off from French beaches. Yeah, uh, I think the privacy thing is almost irrelevant, Nigel, because we can do the surveillance from inside our own territorial seas. The, the technology exists with unmanned, persistent technologies to be able to look into France from a distance, to tell you the truth. We can tell them exactly what's going on, uh, and uh, the French can do something about it should they choose to do so. Uh, but I think we've got to stop uh, using mealy-mouthed political phrases now. Um, we've had a tragedy. More tragedies will happen. Uh, all the other bad consequences of people getting into boats and coming into our country uh, will continue into the new year. And as I said, unless we properly control and patrol every activity that goes on in the channel, uh, this is going to continue uh, and we'll be held to account for it. Well, Chris, maybe you're right. But what about what about uh, when people enter this country or when we pick that when we pick up those boats in the channel? Why don't we simply return them to France? Well, Nigel, you, know, you and I know uh, as well as anybody that the law currently doesn't allow that, both international law and national law. So we have to change national law if we're going to do that. That's yep. a job for our politicians to, to yep. sort out. But there are practical ways. Remember, these people have to be taken to a place of safety. I've been saying for some time now we should be using receiving ships uh, where we process people offshore in international waters and see whether they are entitled to come to this country. Uh, and that would be a simple step. Um, they don't have to come to this country. They have to go to a place of safety. It's as simple as that. Uh, and I think more and more we've got to put procedural uh, uh, steps in place that mean that we don't keep bringing them to the country directly. We have to agree with France that if they are the country that is sending them, that's where they go back to. It's as simple as that. Uh, and uh, if the French can't act as uh, friendly neighbours, uh, then we have to take some action in regard to the political processes in France that affect them as well. Chris Parry, thank you as ever for coming on and discussing this subject. I'm sure we're going to talk again soon because I don't see what's happened today, frankly, as being a deterrent. Thank